Dave Snoop. I slept and saw God's forge in frost. Its hearth was quelled, and as it cooled so swooned the verdancy it kept above. In slumber, it grew a thick winter skin, white as bedsheets. In their folds, the waker dreamt. Her breath as steam, her touch as hot as iron, forgotten in the fire. Oh, that this too, too solid flesh would melt, thaw, and resolve itself into a dew. Acclaimed actor and sleeping prophet, Charles Dutton. Jade, answer. Glub, 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 glub. Oh, no! Hey, take it easy. I'm not here to give you a hard time like my buddies have been. But you're a troll, and that's what trolls do. Even when they say they won't. Sometimes especially. Okay, then you can be the judge of that. I won't be long. I've just come to say a couple things. First, none of this is really your fault. This is swimmingly obvious to everyone here who takes a glubby moment to think about it rationally. Which isn't many of us, but still. <laughs> okay, even though I still have no idea what you're talking about. I mean, your Lucis jumped right in there to save you, just like mine did. Well, okay, mine was dead at the time. And she just kind of fell in. <laughs> Kind of drifted down like fish food, and pow! The luckalub sprite! <laughs> she was so funny. What's the Lucis? It's a big old monster custodian you grow up with. Sheesh, how freaking retarded do you have to be not to know something like that? I'm joking, of course. <laughs> huh. I wanted to glub something else to you well before you started playing, just to get the idea in your head. I'm Feffery, by the way. Abdicated Empress to be! Okay, Feffery. What is it? Soon I will go to sleep and speak to the gods. I will convince them to establish a series of stable dream bubbles where we can meet in our sleep! I don't understand. What's a dream bubble? You'll see! <laughs> Ugh! Feffery! I thought you said you were gonna stop using your typing quirk! Did I? When? I... don't know. I'm sure I remember you said that. Hmm. Jade, this is the first time we have ever talked, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it is. I don't know what I was thinking. I just had a major case of deja vu! What's that? I felt like we already had this conversation. Actually, it still sort of feels that way. It's not going away. Well, maybe we did. Hey, by the way, what exactly are you doing there with that toy? You never did explain it to me. Um... What do you mean I never explained it to you? 
if this really is the first time we talked. Why would I have? Good point. Maybe I'm feeling it too. I have... What was it? Orca Vu? Ugh! Feffery? That one was a stretch even by your fish punnery standards. Ugh! Why do I know that you like to make fish puns? Mm. Actually, I do remember this conversation. It was in the past. But if this was in the past, then where am I now? In the future! Duh! So what is going on? I don't think I am asleep. I am not on Prospit. Yes, you are asleep. But your dream self died, just like mine, remember? Oh, vaguely. Now you don't dream about Prospit. You have normal dreams. So, this is a dream? It is a dream and a memory. It is the past brought back to life by a witch. It's all those things. Although, we're getting off the script here. This is not how the conversation originally went, obviously. You were a lot less patient with me when I was just trying to encourage you. Sorry. I think. I am in the game now, right? Sure. Hey, why don't you tell me about this cool robot bunny you were making? I've been pretty glum and curious about it. Mind if I take a look? Um... It's great! Wish I could make something like this. Never had the gills for technology. <laughs> Hard to work with underwater. Why are you here? Are you asleep too? Nope. I woke up from my nap a while ago. Remember how I woke up and then messaged you? You had just had a bad dream, and I told you there was nothing to be scared of. Which there isn't. Oh yeah. I do remember that. Then why are you here now? Because, stupid. <laughs> I'm dead! <laughs> Jade, wake up again! <gasps> you have got to stop falling asleep! Uh, Jade, get out of bed! You deep bed! Oof, the snow is quite deep! Jade, it is time to pester John! You would like to report to John, but it seems you have misplaced your laptop! That's right, it was in the atrium when you got slapped with that stupid blindfold and all hell broke loose! You hope it's okay! It was your favourite computer! And your favourite lunchbox! Jade, it's time to climb! Jade, it is suggested that you turn around! Oh, you don't see anything. Someone out there is messing with you. Good thing Grandpa taught you never to leave home without your rifle, even by accident. Strike!
Good dog. Best friend. Jade, level up. You finally hop off the lonely green type rung and secure your position on the somewhat respectable Kiddo Eclipse rung. You, uh, you have a lot of climbing ahead of you. Jade, thank best friend. Thanks, Beck. Good boy. So, can you talk now? What do you have to say? You think you will try to keep conversations with Beck Sprite to a minimum from now on? Greetings. Hello. You have extraordinarily bad timing. Her guardian will not be pleased with your intrusion. Don't I know you? Yes, you do. You might want to step away from the computer. PM, rule. You have no idea how to rule. What orders could there possibly be to give anyway? All you want to do is deliver mail. You do not want to be the stupid queen. And you do not want to wear the stupid mailbox crown. This is stupid. WQ. Approach Queen. Your new ruler seems upset. You understand it is not easy being in a position of authority. You politely inform her that as the Queen she is under no obligation to wear a crown. It is her decision. She should understand that a Queen is the sum of her decisions, not her fashion accessories. And no Queen makes decisions alone. All wise rulers surround themselves with trusted advisors. The new queen should understand she has friends to help her. PM, appoint royal advisor. You make your first decision as the new Prospitian monarch. The questant receives the new royal insignia. Jade, return. You return to the grand foyer. It's a bit less cluttered than you remember it being. What happened in here? Where is everything? All the globes and house guests? And the crux truder? And Grandpa? Beck, what did you do? Has someone been a bad dog? Wait, never mind. Please don't answer that. Ugh. Jade, go upstairs. You return to find your beautiful atrium in ruins. And to make things worse, your alchemeter and totem lathe were destroyed as well. On the bright side, it looks like your lunch top was undamaged. Jade, Retrieve lunch top. You have been dying to get back to your computer so you can touch base with John again. He has probably been going crazy wondering about you. But it seems someone else is messaging you right now. Jade, answer Dave. Hey, welcome to the medium finally, I guess. Hey! Last time I talked to you, I was asking for help and you were just snacking at me. What was up with that, bro? Okay, I don't know what you're talking about. It was probably just some horror terror chirping at you during one of your nap bubble mindfucks. It's not the point, I just wanted to say, I just saw you. You did? Yeah, you appeared for a second, shooting at an imp, then you disappeared. Oh! Yes, I did get her in during that last battle, didn't I? It was really intense! Those stupid things are impossible to kill! No, you can kill them. You'll get better, don't worry. In the heat of the fray, I didn't notice you! Where were you? Three places. I remember seeing you twice before in different locations, but at the moment I'm standing in the middle of this snowy goddamn field freezing my shit off. Just wanted to see if you were cool. Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks for asking. What do you mean you remember seeing me? Was I jumping through time or something? No, I was- this is future me. One of the future me's, that is. You're from the future? Yeah, Jade. That's what future me means. <laughs> John told me you've been doing some time traveling. Yeah. That is really, really awesome! It's okay. Hey, it's pretty fucking cold. I know! It is a really neat place, but it is freezing! So I'm gonna go someplace warm. Be back in a while later. Wait! Dave! Ugh! Stupid lousy cool dudes! Okay, I'm back. An hour later. An hour? An hour for me. A second for you. I ran around for an hour, got my ass someplace warm, went back in time, and picked up where we left off. I cannot believe how cool that is! This is me, believing neither that 
ignore its coolness. Yeah, I guess I'm sort of used to it by now. I don't think of hours going by the same way anymore. I mean, there are my hours, but not everyone else's. They're kind of like private hours all to myself, while everyone else is sort of in slow motion, stuck in the thick of the alpha. Huh. I don't know if I get that, but okay. Well, yeah, my thing is time, yours is space. Pretty different things. You get things about space I don't, or you will. I will? Yep. Okay. But anyway, you're right. It's cold. I have to go back inside. I wish I had winter clothes. And if I did, I also wish that my wardrobe fire didn't blow up with all of my beautiful clothes inside. I'm so horribly unprepared for this. I have never even seen snow before. Can you believe that? Pretty believable since you lived on Guam or wherever the fuck. And also inside an active volcano. Derp. Yes, Dave, that is so where I lived. That is as biographically accurate as it gets about me. Well, I've never seen it either, now that I think about it. No? No. Isn't it great? Nah, lava's better. Lava is not better than snow! Yeah, it is. Lava and skeletal skyscrapers all melting and shit. How is that not way cooler than snow and, like, more snow? You can't play in lava. It's no fun. You can only die in lava. Snow's a big chilly carpet of nobody gives a shit. Like old man Winter spread his nasty mayonnaise and turned the landscape into his personal asshole sandwich. Ew, Dave, no! When I look around, all I see is the miles of unharnessed snowmen. I'm just too damn cool to build. No! This is so lame! I'm hearing an insane and stupid guy saying stupid idiot things while wearing dumb sunglasses for lame morons! Whoa, Jade with the fucking haymaker. I need to go look for my teeth on the canvas as soon as shit stops spinning and there stops being like ten of you. <laughs> Why don't we play in the snow later? As soon as you get some... Time. Time. Time then shades. Time. Time and shades, let's go. Oh my fucking god. Time! I'm not gonna play in the snow. Maybe you missed those credentials I flashed, which clearly stated me being too cool for that. Like, federally too cool. My coolness is named after a dead president, plus his middle initial to make it sound extra legit. I know you are joking around. You are not too cool at all. You don't even think that. Okay. Burr. I thought you were going inside. I forgot. Well, at least make some damn clothes. Something warmer, why don't you alchemize some shit? I can't! All that stuff blew up. Blew up? It's a long story that involves a piñata and a gun and a very naughty doggy. I completely understand everything about that, practically entirely. So anyway, that reminds me I've got to talk to John. I've got to get him to make me some new gizmos. Assuming that's even possible. No, don't bother John. He's on like his fucking wind mission or whatever, getting all his ridiculous magic cyclone powers on and realizing his huge blowy destiny as the chump of shoosh. John has magic cyclone powers? Almost. Whoa. You guys are all so much better than me. I feel so lame. We all start out somewhere. Remember how I was scrambling up that tower to get that egg like an idiot? What the hell was I doing? I was like goddamn Pooh Bear in a tree reaching up his fat fucking poo paw for some motherfucking honey. <laughs> so even though I'm awesome now, at one point I was plausibly likened to an autistic stuffed animal. And you even knew what to do. You told me how it worked, all Christopher Robin in my ignorant ass about that egg, but I was all like, I'm a little black rain cloud, bitch, watch me climb. So maybe you're starting out with more sense than me. Maybe? <laughs> In any case, Egbert lost his computer and game disc, so he can't do anything for you anyways. Oh no! Did he lose it in a magic cyclone? Probably some shit like that's what happened. But you're not completely screwed, we just have to think outside the box here. We do? Yeah, honestly, I figured we'd have to do something like this. So I guess here we are doing it. Doing what? Well, you're my server player, remember? Yes. I need you to deploy something first, in my apartment. In a few hours, I'll go back there and we can continue this. Oh jeez, a few hours? Yeah, as in a few seconds. I'm back in my place now. Fastest hours! Yeah, now, deploy the IntelliBeam laser station. But that costs so much grist! No, it costs practically nothing. Check out how much I've got. OMG! Jade! Deploy laser station! What does this thing do? It's mostly pretty stupid and useless, but it'll come in handy here. It reads capture codes. On the back of cards? Yeah. But we can already read those. Some are too garbled and complicated. The human eye can't decipher them. Needs sophisticated scanning technology and artificial intelligence to figure it out. Huh. But isn't the whole point of captures that only humans can read them? And not robots? 
Yeah, well, that's why this is so dumb. Dave, eject disc. I guess some captures are so incomprehensible because the game thinks it would be too cheap to let you duplicate them, like an anti-piracy measure. So the solution to the anti-piracy measure is to override the anti-spam measure. Anti-spam? Well, yeah, that's what captures are for. And they're on the back of cards for a really good reason. Because God knows the last thing you'd want was some web bot to be able to figure out the code for, like, a potted plant. That would be fucking mayhem. Yeah, obviously. But in order to effectively cheat here, we've got to open Pandora's spam box and release the laser station into the world with its leering IntelliBeam. Now, no capture to see. They'll have bots signing up for email accounts and duplicating potted plants and shit. Oh no! Basically, robots are in control now, which is all good news and bad news. The bad news is they're all porn bots and they've got loads of provocative material they're just dying to share with us. What's the good news? That's also the good news. Dave, I still don't know what you're actually doing here. What's it look like? I'm duplicating my server disk. Now scan! Oh, to give it to John? Nah, I told you, we're not bothering John. He's got shit to do, I'll just install it. But you were already Rosa's server player, and John is mine. Not to mention I'm yours. Can you really be a server player to your own server player? Don't see why not, we have to get creative here. This game's already so far off the rails, what else is there to do but improvise? But, I guess... I thought that John sort of... had to be my server. You know? Well, he was. He got you in, didn't he? But now he's not. Been a change of plans. Time to roll with it. Dave, read code. Well, you're from the future, right? Don't you know already if it'll work? Yeah, more or less. I never really studied how it went down all that closely. I just figured when the time came to sort it out, the right thing to do would be obvious, like it is now. Managing the loops is a balance of careful planning and just rolling with your in-the-moment decisions, and trusting that they were the ones you were always supposed to make. By now, I'm pretty used to having my intuition woven into the fabric of the Alpha Timeline. Pretty smooth, Dave. Yeah, I know. Shades for everybody! <laughs> now duplicate disc! This will be the disc I use for your connection, while the original will stay bound to Rose's connection. So you'll be the server for both us ladies? You just keep getting smoother. I can't handle all this smoothness! Well, technically, I'll be your server, and past me will stay as Rosa's server, which is to say present me will, the one in the black suit. Oh, I guess that makes sense. He can keep managing her for a while, until she sort of checks out soon and becomes totally useless. Then he can start hopping around time like I did, make a ton of money and stuff, eventually become me, and become your server player. Okay, I think I understand that. Yeah, see, it's not that hard to get the hang of. In the meantime, I'll kind of loiter around this time frame to help you out for a while. Yes. Thanks, Dave. Um, what do you mean Rose will check out? Don't worry about it. Just some more future stuff. Now I need you to go downstairs. Uh, okay. Jade, go downstairs. <laughs> I'm just gonna cut right to the chase and upgrade your alchemeter so you can avoid a lot of bullshit. I'll give you some codes and you can punch cards and slip them into jumper blocks, which are really the exact same codes you first gave me when we upgraded my alchemeter, which seems like a hell of a long time ago. It does, doesn't it? Yeah, but it kind of literally is for me. How long? A few days, I guess. Okay, that's not that long. <laughs> Whatever. Dave, deploy an upgrade. Yay! Jade, oh god, hurry up and out my stuff! Go, go, go! Hey, calm down. Just because it's snowing outside doesn't mean it's Christmas just yet. There are still plenty of things to do before we bother with that sort of nonsense. Take a deep breath, put the cards down, and relax. 